Here comes a heavy hitter. Joe Coffey's here to hurt someone badly. A brawler who's paid his dues in battles across Europe and the United States, and he is thirsty for more. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing hey, in you guys see that? Yeah, he must have thought this pounds. was his. That's all on a cheap shot. That's just evening the playing field, Cole. What a disgrace. The ref motioning to get in the ring now. Yeah, I think the referee's at the end of their rope. You can only push the referee so far, Corey. Oh, 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 strong knee connects. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Ooh, well measured. That didn't go as Joe pictured. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. I'm just being tossed away there. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few. Oh, oh, the Kamala. Uh, Kamala. He is doing whatever he can to break the Kamala. And he does. Close line. So effective. This arena can't contain them. And if history is any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Something that sticks out to me about Drew McIntyre across his matches is his incredible tenacity. Do you think that gives him an edge tonight? I do, Cole. Drew McIntyre doesn't have one single ounce of quit in him. He knows that all that stands between him and a win here tonight is his own ability to just put his head down and go to work. The harder he scraps, the more relentless he is, the better his chances in this one. There we go. Superstar is finally out of the ring, and we are officially underway. McIntyre's spirit might have wavered there a bit. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Oh, man, just punishing. Oh, no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomp to the hand. And if the first stomp doesn't play, Trying to make short order of things there. Slam! What impact. Just disrespectful. I don't know if there's any ounce of professionalism in an attack like that. What is Drew McIntyre looking for here? Defying the laws of physics. Ouch. The inverted Alabama slam. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. This match's brutality starting to show on it. And McIntyre's aggression seemingly growing with each. Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. Raising the arm before one. Staying in this one. Able to avoid any harm there. Placed in the corner. Boom, Joe with a timely counter. reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. No. Somersault plancha. Pinpoint precision right on target. Punishing their opponent. Oof, loving blow to the chest. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Taking this one back to the ring now. Just so dominant. Drew's doing everything right here, going on a relentless attack. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Just punched him right in the middle. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Right in the elbow, nailed it. Oh, my gosh. with purpose. 
Davis. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Joe continues to maintain the advantage. And I can tell her Coffee is still fighting these bursts of offense. We don't often see it get taken to McIntyre like this. Now the question is, what will the Scottish Warrior do to respond? He's able to fend off the attack. Oh, no, right to the arm. Piper extends your elbow. of victory only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. And where McIntyre goes from here is unknown. Drew is accustomed. Oh, it is time for the countdown. Matt Flamel kick. This is bad. Joe Coffey is bleeding. Joe is on Dream Street. We knew this was going to be brutal, but didn't imagine carnage like this. Oh, I guarantee no one had this on their bingo card. Superstar giving an inch. No signs of evil combatant backing down. Two titans, trading strikes, and refusing to back down. The real power, the sheer guts of these two. Shot road line hits its mark. Joe Coffey being sized up. McIntyre. Future shot for McIntyre. McIntyre might have him. And got the win. That is a huge win here tonight. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Joe Coffey just couldn't get it done here. I doubt Coffey will let this get him down, though. He'll just use this loss as fuel for his competitive fire. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making our way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. There's so many accolades in Nikki's career. She was even the final 24-7 champion after throwing the title in the trash. Well, the last woman to throw a title in the trash made it to the Hall of Fame, so maybe there's a method to Nikki's madness. She calls herself the young veteran, Alba Fire. A woman with plenty of accolades, and she's just getting started. And her opponents, first from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire. Battle tested, 
including reigns as NXT UK Women's Champion and NXT Tag Team Champion as well. But we have only seen the beginning of how bright fire can burn. Looks to scorch the earth of WWE and burn the women's division to the ground. Her ancestors have demanded a sacrifice and Alba is more than happy to deliver. Alba Fire has declared that her spiritual alchemy is complete and she is ready for battle. And she's ready to unleash catastrophic outcomes on the entire women's division. building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. She treats every match like a title defense. That's how she got to this point in her career. And now this match is officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. There's a Russian leg sweep. Oh, that just raining down punches. Every strike more devastating than the last. Gets caught with a punch. Oh, trying to dislocate the shoulder. Triple threats are so mentally and physically draining. How do you keep the pressure from getting to you, Corey? In a triple threat, you have to play offense and defense at the same time. If you want to make it through, you got to have real mental toughness and just trust your instincts. There's no time to think, only time to act. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. And this one might be headed ringside. Kick hits the mark. Dangerous intentions in her mind right now. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Alba shifts that to her favor. And gets tossed back into the mat. Cross sending a pretty clear message there. Oh, come on! That's a vile shot block. You have to admit, that was a smart bit of offense, cutting their opponent down to size like that. It goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that. Good golly, Miss Molly! Unbelievable athleticism. Agility like that, easier... Take down, whatever the cross face, it's cinched in this fighting desperately. She rolls her way out of the submission and takes control. Sharp jab. Series of strikes to the back. 
Loving blows. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. And that was a well-executed attack. Ooh, she just turned it around. And she's stunned in the corner. She re-enters the ring now. <laughs> oh, the elbow connects. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. That'll light up your chest. What a shot. Both knees into the face. Oh, and a forearm smash. Down with a lariat. Grab the top. A precision strike like that had to be calculated. Absolutely spiked. DDT. She's showing signs of slowing now. Yeah, super threat matches are no cakewalk. And they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. Oh, yeah, she's saying, let's go. Bring it. Alba Fire digging deep into the arsenal here with the goalie bomb. Into the pin attempt. Broken up. And the match continues. Answering back. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? Fought off with an elbow. Taking off from the ropes. He is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Got the front face lock applied. Nice suplex. Back body drop. Punishing power slam. Great strength being shown here. Right across the larynx. Uh-oh, the top rope. Whiplash neck breaker. We got a cover. That could have been it right there. To the corner. This can't be good. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. And Nikki Cross has her hooked up. Shoulders down. Could she finally pick this away? Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. And this match will get back to the ring. Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. Package pile driver. It's over. Fire is done. High angle exploder suplex. Here's the cover for the in this triple threat. Here is your winner, Reed. Oh! Quite the performance from all three superstars in this match. I know there is only one true winner of a match like this, guys, but the other two superstars should keep their heads up high after the performances they pulled off here. Unfortunately, there are no consolation prizes in triple threat matches, Saxton, but you have a point. All three of these competitors really gave it their all here.
The damn Dudleys at it again. Oh, baby, we are about to get it stream. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Bubba Ray Dudley, representing the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville. Weighing in at 269 pounds, Devon Dudley! You never know what's gonna happen with the Dudleys, except that someone's going through a table. Yeah, we know the Dudleys have held tag titles everywhere they've gone, but they always have something up their sleeves. Bubba and Devon truly raise the bar for brutality. Every match with them quickly turns into a brawl. Get ready for a fight that would make Big Daddy Dudley proud. Perhaps the most dangerous face of Foley. And his opponent, from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack. Think about the history of Cactus Jacks, whose origins date back to both ECW and WCW, where he won tag team titles in both organizations. I think you meant origins, Saxton, but I understand everyone's a little on edge when Cactus Jack's around. How'd you know? What I want to know is who would team with a man this dangerous? And when you're dealing with Cactus Jack, the rules are more like light suggestions. Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Shoulder tackle. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh, my God. Oh, it could be nap time. I mean, how do you get out of this sleeper hole? What can they do? Look at this great reversal. That's one way to do it. That's using your head. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Shoulder tackle. Sharp clothesline. And Cactus Jack is looking a little less dangerous after that attack. Yeah, this is the hostility Devon Dudley wanted to bring. Devon Dudley heads up high. Launching all the way to the outside. Soaring through the sky and crashing onto their opponent. And Cactus Jack's mind works a little different, shall we say. What's his best path to victory tonight? And I shudder to ask. Well, I shudder to answer because the path is to do whatever the hell he wants. Cactus takes things to a place nobody else is willing to go to. And at a certain point, his opponent will have had enough. And if they haven't, he'll probably be all too happy to oblige them. Devon creates an opening. <laughs> Stiff elbow will break that up. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Off into the pin. Gets the shoulder up after one. He clearly has no intention of staying down. And Devon escapes danger. Oh, man, he is fired up now. Bringing the focus to the temple, hoping to disorient. Powerless position to be in right now. No, someone called a dentist. This one is headed outside, guys. And 
Cactus Jack grimacing as he takes some more punishment. Devon with a kick to the guts, turns his opponent around, and saving grace! Cactus Jack's in dire straits. Shoulders down. No, he gets the shoulder up. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. On a bionic elbow. Nasty. They weren't that good looking anyway. Oh, sent flying. Stinging right to the back. Short clothesline. He just barely dodges. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Off the ropes. Leg drop. Turns that back on Devon. Cactus Jack. Stop the pop rival. That's it. Cactus Jack just ended things. The cover. What a win for Cactus Jack. Here is your winner, Cactus Jack! Yvonne Dudley didn't expect to lose this one tonight. The hardcore icon, Cactus Jack, just could not be stopped. What's frightening is a win for Cactus Jack only encourages this maniac. Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. Oh, have mercy! And his opponent, from truth or consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 200. And 87 pounds. Dude, love! Laid back, fun-loving, and confident. This is my favorite form of McFoley. 
Why am I not surprised? But make no mistake about it, when a brawl starts, Dude Love can fight every bit as hard as Mankind or Cactus Jack. Look at those dance moves. some moves. I'm going to go on the record and say that Michael Cole is a better dancer. Thanks, Corey. I won a number of dance contests. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Delivered. Great reaction from JD. Springboard misses the target. That's not right. Now that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Got their opponent on oh, Snake Eyes! Oh, the knee drop connects. Headlock takeover, slowing down the pace. Tremendous pressure applied. Able to interrupt the attack. And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hold. Abdominal stretch. Fighting out. That's one way to get out of it. Oh my goodness. Ah, and will this be it? He narrowly avoids the count. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. McDonough lacking that surge of energy right now. Dude Love is rolling now. JD showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. Yeah, but McDonough needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Yeah. Great reversal. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Down on the windpipe. He's taking this to the floor now. Grabbing an item from under the ring is perfectly within the duties of being a manager. Two. Oh. Standing Spanish fly, are you kidding me? Incredible. Four. Denied with an elbow. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. And they just got back in. Atomic drop. Ooh. Knee right to the midsection. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Oh, Dude Love got caught with a reversal. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Taking this outside. This could be good. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Position. What's he planning to do here? Eggs. And he makes it to the ropes. I knew he could. Uh-oh. Oh, and Dude Love fights. 
steps back, and JD gets out of the way. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Bad predicament right here. Just launched. Ripped across the ring into the turnbuckle, followed up the face, meet canvas. Shot after shot, Ooh, ruthless striking. And Dude Love is in total control. JD's got to find his... Kick to the body, double underhook into a DDT. That's it, Dude Love just ended things. Two! He's still in this fight. Inches away from three millimeters. That move has brought victory. First up, ten. Oh, just completely off target there. Taking a chance, and it didn't pay off at all. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Counters that. JD showing how much punishment he can withstand before getting his own offense in. McDonough hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. McDonough telling his opponent to bring it. Big forearm. Oh, man. And a standing moonsault. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Into the corner now. Oof, running knee in the corner. Ireland's call. Oh, Ireland's call from McDonough. Cover. Two. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Here is your winner, KD McDonough. Dude Long feeling the sting of defeat. With a win like this, things have got to taste a little bittersweet right about now. Actually, Saxon, I imagine the win tastes a lot more like pennies. Let's start off this match in a civilized manner, guys. Oh, handshake, uh, good sportsmanship. I guess I'll... Oh! oh, oh what was that you said about civility, Cole? I saw humiliation and disrespect, and I love it. Hey, maybe they shouldn't have taken the bait, right? Yeah, it's all about trying to embarrass this superstar's opponent in the early going. Well, here we go, and we shouldn't expect a friendly bit of competition between these superstars in this one. Mind games are definitely at play here, Joe. Getting into your opponent's head, making them question every step and move they make, that's why you do something like that. Yeah, you cannot deny how even the smallest change in game plan can have long-lasting effects as the match continues. Referee in position, and a good strong kick out there. Looking for a speedy pinfall there. To the outside. This could get wild. Regal Plex. Off the... Oh, the 
Kimura lock up. Hey, look at this. Kimura lock. Nowhere to go but for Oh, my God. They broke out of it. It has to be demoralizing to just get slapped like that. If that doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. Seth freaking Rollins loves to get a frenetic pace going. Loves to get rolling. Yeah, but I don't know if that's the smartest strategy for the visionary here. We know Rollins knows when to slow things down, to pick his spots. He's definitely learned a thing or two under the wing of Triple H, and he could show that off here tonight. Single underhook, face buster. Shoulders down to the count, lifts the shoulder up. We'll need to get a little more to put this one away. Butch was waiting for it. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Followed by a forearm smash. Able to give him the slip. Uh-oh. He had it scouted. Returning to the ring now. Oh, that'll keep Butch at bay. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Oh! Yeah, Butch seemingly stopped. He's got him down. Is this it? Kick out at one. He's not even close to being done yet. Ouch. <laughs> Arm ringer. The counter with a knuckle sandwich. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Into a chop block. And Butch fending him off. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. This is a unique application of a hammerlock. Now at the left. Oh! Butch looking to continue his assault and joint manipulation. Arm trapped in a hammerlock submission. Oh, no. This is going to be hard to watch. Ah! Oh, agonizing. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. Just a nasty headbutt. That could be it. And he powers out. He thought he had it. Saw that coming. Lovely. Nicely done. Capped off with a big one. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Just absolutely ruthless is Butch. Rollins escaping danger. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. He gets out of the way. Thrown back in under the ropes. Oh, I had that well scouted. These two showing how well scouted they each are. And full control here, face first. Cut him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Oh, man. Big time move coming up. Rollins perched up top. What's coming next? Oh, no. No way. No way. Superplex. Not done yet. Rollins gets him. Here is your winner, Seth 
Ricky Rollins! And as much as they could have let the earlier disrespect get to them, they instead found the focus and drive to get the win here. This is definitely one of those wins that counts as making a statement. You can't just disrespect me and expect to get away with it. It certainly does, Byron, and I can't imagine a more emphatic statement right about now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, the action champion, Supernova 11, Noam Dar. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. You're about to enter a battle against the Prince, Finn Balor. No turning back now. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. And his opponent, accompanied by Damian Priest, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. Ben. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. And they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. Just look at the Judgment Day. Powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Up oh, yeah. and over. And Finn heads him off at the pass. Effective arm drag. Uh, what are they going to do here? Oh, the clover lead. Check out the torque on the back. And he's able to fend off what must have been a grueling submission. Kick to the gut creates separation.
Sent to the outside. Incoming. Gonna fly. And he was able to turn that around on Balor. And he tosses it back in now. Arm ringer applied. Down for a European arm breaker. Oh, flipping the script out in there. Stop right to the gut. Adding pressure afterwards. Ugh. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Just cranking the head. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. He's absorbed some damage already. Yeah, Finn tipped those scales in his favor with that attack. Cover! And a shoulder in the air. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. You know, if Balor knows what's good for him, he'll move away from that high-risk style tonight and play it a little smart. High-risk style can also reap high reward, though, Corey. That's what Balor's banking on here. And you've got to admit, it's worked well for him thus far in his career. Oh, Dar saves himself. Kick right to the back of the leg. Punishing their opponent. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Continually punishing man and finds a counter. These two having an answer for everything. Northern Light Suplex goes into the pin. Two. Finn Balor finds a way to stay in this. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. <laughs> oh, what an elbow high on the chin. He skirts around it. Well, this matchup has been pretty even so far. Bolt down, collision, middle of the ring. Wait, hold on. Don't what, what is happening here? These two can't be inside the ring. Yeah. Temper's yeah. obviously gotten out of control. Good job, referee. And you too. Now, maybe we can focus on this match. The referee does their job and removes the ringside distractions. Great call, ref. Just breaking down the opponent. Drop kick right on point. the win. Here is your winner, Finn Balor. In the end, that intense brawl earlier didn't take away their will to win, and they are victorious. I think we always knew this would be a violent and scrappy match. Yeah, they definitely got put through the ringer. Good thing it turns out they can brawl with the best of them. Uh, referee calls to the bell. We're underway. The referee goes down just oh, like no. that. 
a hazardous environment for an official. Anybody got a referee shirt? The bell rings coming right off the heels of some underhanded yes. tactics. Yeah, guys, there is no way that doesn't play a part in this one. Saxton, in this business, you got to keep your head on the swivel, no matter who you are. That was just a quick reminder. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. And a series of vicious stomps. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Got the knees up. Wow, he reversed angle. And now thrown back into the ring. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Angle escapes the attack. Rollins lining up. Oh, classic Rollins with a springboard knee strike. For a power slam, slip step. And step delivers the inverted DDT. <laughs> Big flying form. Kurt Angle has based his entire career on the three eyes. Does intensity, integrity, and intelligence carry Angle to a victory tonight? I believe it will, especially if he uses the full spectrum of that middle eye. Angle knows when to fight with integrity, but also. to the midsection. Picture perfect drop kick. Oh my! Rollins might need to adapt a little better after that. This is how Angle's gonna make his presence felt throughout the match. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Kick right to the back of the leg. Lighten up the chest and now straight to the knee. Goes without saying, but a leg injury will hamper your ability to do just about anything. Looking wobbly in the corner. Shoulder tackle after shoulder tackle. Determined to keep this matchup going. Look at the ankle lock! The ankle lock! The ankle lock! Seth Rollins in dire straits. In di Rolls through, able to escape the ankle lock. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. And he goes into the ring. Picture perfect drop kick. Top rope, here we go. To the sky. Oh, and he doesn't connect. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. Rollins on the move. Rock situation for Kurt. Well, the legs doesn't even Kurt. see the cover. Valuable seconds passing as they're distracted. Angle won't stay down. Angle still has some fight left in him. What a battle Rollins has waged so far, but he's not into the cover. Oh. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here is your winner. See how you can't be disappointed in winning like this.
And how can you even celebrate a win as tainted as this one? Tainted? How? Oh, come on. You saw the blatant cheap shot, Corey. All I saw was the drive to win at any cost, which they just did, mind you. And to that, I say kudos.